Hey, what's up, guys? Cody Fire TV uh, bringing you a video. It's kind of like a, I want to say not by, well, kind of by request from a few people off of my YouTube channel. Previously, I'll probably link it to this video, but I did a video on um, how to make your own build using a Mac and a um, Arctic Zypher skin. Which now on this one, which you're seeing right now, it's not that skin. So, but what we're going, what I'm getting to is now that um, you you have to do certain things to be able to uh, make your wizard, and once you got the wizard going, to be able to make it function for everything else. So, um, kind of like jump around here. Um, you want to go. Whenever, say, this is my finished product for now. We'll use this as a reference. So I'll, I'll be doing that part too of the other video pretty soon when I get more more time. But um, this is our Codifier 3, or in Spanish, 3, whatever we call it. But it's probably going to just be called Codifier from now on. No more uh, different versions. I like this one be because it's light. It works on the fire sticks. It works on different uh, devices. So, what I'm getting to is um, when you complete a build. So you, I'm on a Mac right now. So you're you pretty much have to make sure everything functions correctly. And what I want to do is um, you go to your settings, your file manager, and you got to make sure that you add. You know, let's take a look here. So the top on here, if you can kind of see it in the blue, special home user data, when you gotta create that, first of all, what that does, that pretty much tells every device, it was in my last video too on that, um, how to make your own build. It, it tells every device, whether it's an Android, whether it's a Mac, a PC, etc., the special home from a, a developer point of view, it's, it, it tells the, the program when it unzips the path to follow. So if you have, for example, you set one up on on here on my Mac, then whatever my username is, say so-and-so, Mac, blah, 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 this folder, etc., then that'll be the path that's saved. So if that's the case, then you, when you're trying to um, save your, your, uh, your build and then you upload it to your server, regardless of what happens, it's still going to not populate correctly because of the um, the path. You got the wrong path. You have your local path. So the special um, path is sets. It tells any device, hey, this is the, the path you need to use regardless of what you are, whether it's Android, Mac, etc., to go into here and grab this content grab these um, background pictures, etc. So that's where I'm kind of getting at. And I had a question, you know, from a couple of viewers and uh, I just wanted to, to make this quick video so they can kind of understand. So once you set that, whatever, whether it's this one, whether it's Aeon Knox and uh, so on, you gotta make sure you back up one. Now, first off, you set these paths. So once you set them, so say you're gonna add something new, like I said, you're gonna do uh, skin settings. I'm looking, like for this uh, Titan skin that I'm using, you're gonna go here and then uh, how I set this up prior, and like I said, it's in the other video, the how to create your own wizard or build, I should say, it'll, it'll be on there. Then like once you select the background and you know you do multi-image, et cetera, because I already created the path in the file manager, which I'm looking at here, the user data, that's where my folder is for the background. So no matter what I pick, what I do, it's always gonna uh, resort to this path. And it's very important you type that in, you know, upon uh, creating your build. So with that being said, so say that, of course, this is my completed version. So what would you do from here afterwards? So. You want to make sure you want to e back up your uh, your build, and what I like to use is uh, the programs, either the USB, whereas this one right here, which you can just search and it'll pop up, and then 
I click, you know, my, my settings, make sure you set your settings, your location, etc. And then once you, well, I'll just do a backup right now. So I'll, I'll go here. And then for example, I got, what I like to do is you go, uh, where is it at? I want to make sure I have like the smallest build possible because that's very important if you load it somewhere, especially on the Fire 6, um, the older ones now that they have a uh, Gen 2, it's a little different because of the processor, but um, you want to have like the smallest build possible to up, not, not only just to upload, but to make it run better on your device. So what I like to do is go to my maintenance tools make sure uh, like right now it's showing this is my cache size I got the thumbnail size is zero megabytes etc but I always like to do this upon um, you know creating a build or whatever so I'll, I'll go here you know I'll wipe everything again and then I am using the echo wizard so that's something you can look up and install then otherwise um, or the the USB one, you can back up your your build. So say I'm in this one right now. Uh, where is it at here? I'm looking to where it says back up your build. Uh, maybe I gotta go back. Like this is again using the Echo Wizard. So backup and restore, backup options, full backup whatever I set my backup path uh, in the echo wizard you can kind of go here set up backup location and then you can kind of uh, decide for yourself where you want to set that up so once you set that up so we would do like here backup directory that is the default for right now and then um, you can kind of go ahead and just hit um, backup I'll make a full backup folders etc name it I would say test and then once I have that going it'll complete 100% and then from that point on you're gonna upload it to your server but it's kind of tricky it's a process but once you do all that and you understand how the wizard works of course you got to register your own domain like for for our domain it's Cody fire builds dot com forward slash repo so that's what I created and I'll show you right now in a second how my setup is so now right now I'm on a Mac and I just back this up and it's backed up inside the Cody folder so what I would do you would go to your desktop hold down the alt option button hit go you're gonna hit the library. You can go to application support. You can go to Cody, and then uh, you would find it here. Whatever you created. So that's the location I created, which is backup dir, which is directory. You go there. I would just drag it to my desktop, and that is my entire build right now. So now, in my FTP app, I like to use FileZilla. So I already have all this uh, set up. And how I have it set up is like, you can go to my, my folders I have. Well, actually, before we talk about these folders, let's go into, uh, well, you need to set up a file. There's actually two files. You have to set up the dot, uh, HTA axis, which kind of just, um, it's a general file that tells, uh, the program how to act pretty much. So, Let's see if I can pull that up here. I gotta Google this one because I didn't. I should have downloaded it prior, but um, you're gonna go to Chrome or whatever we use. I like to use Chrome. So dot HTA. I think it's HTA. Axis. It kind of goes in there. What it is. Blah blah blah. And you gotta create one of these and then you, you gotta upload it. So you can kind of just go here. It pretty much tells you server that kind of like a way to back up and kind of in folders searches. So like when it starts to um, download and then it wants to expand the build, it knows where to go. So um, I'll try to pull that up here shortly and maybe including the links down below in the description 
and kind of give you an idea of uh, how all that works. So, but that's very important that you do. Uh, what do you call it? That you do upload it to your server. So I'm gonna try to find it really quick. HTA. There's a certain command. Um, access. Oh, well, I'll find it and I'll pretty much paste the commands. So you got to save it as a uh, .hta access file. That way, like it propagates everything correctly. So once you have that set up on here, the next important file in your main directory is going to be your wizard text file. So I already have this uh, downloaded to my um, my desktop. So now that it is a text file, what that does, it tells uh, it tells your build how to act when it's downloaded, how where to go. In other words, so it's kind of like a a navigation. So once you open it in a plain text editor. You can go ahead and just copy all this right here. It'll remain the same, but depending on how you have your setup. So for example, my URL here is Cody add-ons apps 3x, which I do this for like the adult um, version of our build. And that's a zip. And then for every one that I have, I have an image folder. So I have it under apps, Cody add-ons apps is where the zip file of my wizard go so in for the in this case would be the test would kind of go in here it would be named uh this right here so when they pull this up you can have the image file here which is uh, a png and then you can make whatever and they would show that there in that directory right here so of course fan art you create a splash page whatever and then you kind of description but once you set that up and what this is here, this is the adult version of the build, and this is the non triple X version. So I have two different ones. We had way uh, a lot more, but you know, it's hard to maintain tons of different builds. And so we decided to stick with this one since it works with the Fire TV stick and other devices. So once you have that typed or uh, set up, you can actually just uh, you got to drop it into the directory of the main directory where your stuff is so it would go here like for example I am using um, GoDaddy right now because of certain issues it, and it does tend to download faster on GoDaddy I'm not sure why I had other providers but um, I have it under the public HTML and then um, you can go in here and just configure so I have a folder for my Cody add-ons and then apps which is these are all the builds that we have on there and then you go back and then of course you're just kind of like your images different images we had and then just you have to set up your wizard dot text file accordingly so it knows where to point so once you do all that and then um, the the next part is here. Oh, actually, here is the file. Here is the the dot uh, hta axis. So I'm gonna drag that to my desktop right now, so you kind of take a look at it of what you need to type. And that's like the the important one where you need to have so it uh, shows everything. But because it is a hidden file, it is not going to uh, show up right away. So I think there is a special command. Let's see if I can find it here. HTA. Hmm. Yeah, those files are hidden. So I'm um, trying to think on a Mac what the command is. Uh, maybe my view options. I can do hidden files. Actually, I cannot. <laughs> but maybe I can drag it somewhere else for the, the, the time being, you know. So I'm going to try to drag it to my documents. And we're going to go here, go to my documents, and force is not showing. <laughs> I'm trying to see what the command, uh, God. Okay, but anyways, I will go ahead. I don't want to keep searching through all this and, you know, take up a lot of time, but you have to make sure that the .hta axis 
is set up on this directory wherever your uh, your wizard is that way knows where to pull the information from so that's that's always a you know that's the number one thing you have to do do not if you don't have this it's kind of start to act funny and um, not set up your build correctly so as far as this file right here this is what this is now so when you have um, go through all these really quick this is pretty much what your um, your wizard contains and there are a lot of videos out there and I uh, I'll try to link them out here when I get a chance but you have to make sure so for example in the wizard file when you open it this is what it's called right so plug in blah 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 this is very important to follow this is my just my version you don't have to have this number right here you just have to make sure that everything works proper and link proper named is pretty much the same so you would open the default of this wizard file I like to use Atom it's a cool um, coding programming I should say um, app which is free but besides that right now let's focus on this and this is pretty much what you get so you got to make sure that your URL is here it's pointing to your wizard the text file in this section this is the default um, Python part of the file so you kind of just got to go through this so for one that of course that's important make sure that you're using the your website first of all and of course the add-on ID which is what we named of course um, what I showed you earlier the folder if you don't have things matching in here then they're not gonna work then it won't it won't recognize it it's not gonna recognize the path and so on so then we get back to this special home and it's very important that you have this special home so when it extracts it knows what to do on any device if without this right here then it would not work at all so just kind of like go through and make sure that the main sections that are um, there's not a, actually you only got to change quite a few you only got to change in the default the name of your website right here uh, the URL where the wizards pointing to and then um, where was the name at uh, right here this section right here then you save that and you, I'm just checking this other one this is just like the block size and then the add-on this is very important this is where you have to make sure that whatever this is named that's what your folder has to be named and the version right there then um, you know the provider this is just like some general information but make sure that all these do apply this is just like some uh, little it's just like an extra text field but make sure that everything is similar to your uh, your file here that you have on your desktop so once this is set up and say okay you like what you see here you have everything set up you got you know all the folders are pointing to this and then your icon PNG is what's important you have to make sure that um, you save it you can open this one you know open Photoshop whatever you like to use and just kind of change it whatnot and then you got to make sure that that is uh, all linked up correctly so once that's all linked up you want to go ahead and compress it and then you can name it whatever and then you get to this part right here which is the wizard so then from this point on you can go to your FTP program and uh, where however your provider has things set up that's how you're gonna go ahead and uh, process the information so I would just go from here download to my wizard and then once that's downloaded you know uh, again I'm on a Mac go on here and Cody is uh, have to restart Cody real quick okay launch Cody
so everything is uploaded at this point you would consider everything being uploaded to the server you know your um the wizard text uh you have all your folders directories however you want to set them up you don't have to exactly follow my path but um if you have all that set up correctly then now what i'd like to do in our build go to wizard so when you if you have everything set up correctly you can go to your wizard link you know you, you, any build you have you can link it and then again here is my adult version and on the bottom right here the plain one where it says tress um that is the the non triple x and then what everyone just has to do is just click on it it starts to download etc so that's how your wizard works and then the background that you see here say for example where i have says uh, cody fire on this on the background of this that is your splash page you just have to open it in um your photo editing program and then you can set that up on there and these right here are uh what you see here let me change this view i don't know why it's defaulting to uh the cards view i'll just keep it as list and the square you do see right here or uh, it says triple x that is your icon.png same for this one you got to create two different ones if you're doing different versions of the build you install it and then once it's done you know it updates etc and then there you have it so it is um a bit of a process but i just kind of wanted to give you an understanding of how this all works again like you like i said so step one just to recap you have your build here let's go back into cody and then uh whatever backup solution you want to use for your build i like to use uh the echo wizard if not the usb sd card wizard which is in the xunity talk repo you just set that up like i said and then you run it you set your path you back it up once it's backed up on there you go to it and in this case we need to test so i got so say for example just uh for this process i wanted to name it um this is like my non triple x version and how I have things set up here, you know, I have apps for uh, the repos here, which are the wizards, I should say. It's the complete wizard. So for this one, I have 3x, which is, you know, pretty much self-explanatory. Then I just, I would drag this to that. And then that would be my 3x version. So when it's completed, it um, uploaded, I should say, it would be in here under, uh, you know, your program section of the wizard. That's why I have it configured and then that would be it and then I just click it and download it so but like I said make sure prior to all this that in this directory let's go back a few um, the wizard is very important don't forget to set up that wizard and it tells Cody what to do and then also when you are in um, go back here when you are um, and here, like I said, uh, make sure that your wizard itself, how we talked about everything, is um, set up correctly. And that's what tells Cody reaches out to your server and downloads this. And this tells well, the wizard tells um, the wizard.txt tells this file here, okay, they're going to download this. And then it tells it where to go, how to install, how to extract, etc. So it is a bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty much, uh, it's not that hard, but this is like a quick video. I try to just narrow it down to how many minutes I have going on right now, but I just wanted to be kind of quick and uh, about it because it is a whole process. And don't forget that I do have uh, part two of the other video, which is a more step-by-step. -step. It's a lot, it's gonna be a longer series of how to go from the Arctic Cypher on a Mac, um, you know, create it get to this once we get to this point i'm not sure how many videos how many parts it'll be but because of the questions that we did have on facebook and on youtube i wanted to address this so that's pretty much it for now and um be sure to like our video subscribe to our channel if you have any questions any concerns go to our group facebook.com forward slash groups cody fire uh i think it's tv dot tv i'll link it in the description and uh we'll try to get back to you and 
whatever you need help with, we know you can go to codyfire.tv. It is our website, and you can uh, email us on there as well. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next video.